All right, these are seen on Q fever, represented by this Q here, who has a fever. You see, he has a thermometer in his mouth. And he is going to be the referee in this game with these two cocks over here. And they're drinking burning tea. Cock for Coxiella Bernetti, because Coxiella Bernetti causes Q fever. So again, Cox is drinking their burning tea in this contest for Coxiella Bernetti, which causes Q fever. Coxiella Bernetti presents with headache, cough, and flu-like symptoms. We have this Q fever here. He has a, he's a little bit sick, as you can see. He looks a little bit sick. And he's wearing this gnome hat, which comes up in a number of videos to help us remember pneumonia. It could present with pneumonia. Possibly in combination with hepatitis. Now over here, we have this random cow with his placenta coming out. The random cow with the placenta coming out to help us remember that, that transmission is through spores and hill dust aerosols from cattle or sheep amniotic fluid or placentas. And that's why farmers are at risk. This is to help us remember the structure of Coxiella bernetti, which is gram negative. As you can see, this red color gives us that red color and gram staining. Now, if you note that these coxes are actually inside these cell things, in our Rickettsia video, the characters were also inside these cell things. Coxiella bernetti very much resembles Rickettsia, just as in the Rickettsia video, they had a positive wheel felix text, represented by the wheel that could feel. In Coxiella bernetti, the there's going to be a negative wheel felix test, even though they're intracellular and they quite require CoA and NAD for survival. The final point is Q fever is a common cause of culture negative endocarditis. All right. That's our scene on Coxiella Bernetti and on Q Fever. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.